Are you going to show us the next champion then? What, what's her name? Her name is her name is Syndra, the Dark Sovereign. And yes, I will show it to you. So I'll show you her splash real quick. Where is she? Okay. Right. So to get into her story before I get into her gameplay. So this is Syndra, the Dark Sovereign. She is an evil force mage. Not necessarily evil, but she's kind of a dark force mage from Ionia. She was a gifted magic user who, who, was, who was slowly building power in her youth, and her, her village people noticed that and feared her. So they sent her off to a magic academy under the guidance of, you know, a, a good sorcerer. And the reason was mostly, you know, to help her train her powers, but also keep an eye on her and restrain her because people began to fear her. Um, she kind of caught on to this as she grew older and decided she was being held back. And so she kills her master. Um, the charm to kind of hold her energy in place uh, is lifted and she just pretty much assumes like more and more power. And in, in a rage, she actually lifts, she kills everybody at the, the school, the temple she's at, and lifts it from the ground and is floating around it in the sky, looking to prove to everyone that she's not to be controlled and really just uh, uh, wreck havoc all over just, the place. Yeah, just like a teenage tantrum. Yeah, you know, it just, she, totally she got rails. grounded and then she used her powers for evil and now she's literally floating in the sky. So. So there you that's go. A, that's about it. When I get angry, yeah, dude, I whole just, academy, I, right in the air. Lift my car up and take that, that suckers. So, so that that said, let's get her started here. So she is she's she's a mage, um, uh, obviously AP. She is going to be uh, quite a threat in mid, um, but I'd be curious to see how other people play her as as. She, People get more familiar with her. Um, so her marquee sets of, uh, of abilities revolve around three dark energy orbs that are always orbiting her. And she's able to conjure up these orbs from nothing. And she then has several options in her old kit. She is able to... Um, lay as she levels up lay several of these spears down and they don't do anything in their own right once you when you lay them down with your q it does some damage or a little bit of an aoe effect but then they're just sitting there for a little bit of time uh with her w she's able to grab them and drag them around and then slam them on the ground so she can pick them up and slam them she's also able to pick up minions as well uh which which um except for for Baron and for Dragon. So she can pick up Blue, she can pick up Golem, she can pick up, uh, you know, the Elder Lizard. So really, she can steal steal someone who's jungling, which, which makes And her, drop them wherever. Drop them wherever. Oh, so right. you oh can wow. Like yoink, you can yoink, take it out of, take it out of lane and be like, see ya! And just, and it's, it's, it's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm, when they, sh when we, when they put that ability in, we were all pretty, pretty excited about that. So, uh, yeah. let's get some Dorns here. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see this. So, she, she floats. She has a kind of glowy eyes. She's a, a very pissed off demeanor. Um, these are the glowing orbs around her. Uh, her. Her passive is, as she levels up, um, her abilities begin to have extra effects. So, she'll do extra damage to champions with her Dark Sphere ability. Uh, when she uses her Force, this is her E, she's able to send out a Force Wave, which will push out minions as well as... Um, the spears that she lays down in place. If these spears hit minions or a champion, it has a chance to stun them. Oh no, actually, it does stun them if it hits. It's kind of Morello likes to describe it as billards. You know, just pop it open and hit someone in the head, and it'll knock them down. And then her ultimate um, will take any of those orbs that are lying around the ground and focus them on a single target for major damage. So she has great burst potential and lots of fun utility by just being able to set up interesting um, opportunities with those dark spheres. So, it's clicky click up here in mid. I think I have a bot. All right, we have Malazar. Perfect. Is she a great mid champ then? Yes. So far, she's she's testing well in mid. Uh, she's definitely uh, on the overpowered side right now, but you know she's still a ways off before her release her. So we're going to um, really just balance and test the best that we can to make sure she's good for release. So I'll give you an example. So there she is. She is her auto attack. She's throwing out these kind of discs, discs of energy. Um, I'm going to lay down her. Once I get to level two, I'll, I'll, I'll lay down some of her spears so I can see some. show you guys some of the interactions here. Come on. Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, great. So I'm going to drop my Q down near these minions, near my minions. As you can see, it, it's just, it's, so there's a little bit of a damage there, but it's, it's just kind of stationary holding around. And as you can see, as it's about to generate, it starts to change. But I just grabbed it, 
So now I'm able to manipulate it and send it flying again. Oh, wow. So. Wow, that's really impressive. And it, it's pretty fun. Uh, it, it, that, that was just like a cool treat to be like, let me just levitate this minion here. Um, so let me show you that in action. So you don't, need, you don't necessarily need a spear. I can grab any minion I want and oh, yeah. throw them back. And so this is going to be great for Laney, just kind of tossing right, minions yeah. back. Great for gangs. Too. Yep. And be like, oh, oh, yeah, how about this? You know, here's a minion for you. So I'll, I'll go into the jungle right now and show you what, what could happen when you uh, get some visibility into Golem here. Hello, Golem. See? Whoop! Oh, look at that. See you later! <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that just lends itself for interesting strategies that can be used to really mess with your opponent's jungler. So, I'm, I'm excited for that. Mm. Okay, so we're going back out in the lane here. I'm going to drop down her Q and then farm up a bit so I can show your ultimate. So, I'm going to drop her Q down and I'm going to use my E ability. And as you see, I just hit a minion there and stunned him. Also pushed back any minions that were in that line of the cone. That also works on champions, so you can push them back. So, she, you know, she's all about controlling the zone around her. You know, you can really kind of... Uh, a, a smart Syndra player will be able to really outzone her opponent with great use of her spheres and using, um, using the minion pull and, and the force push. So let's farm up here so we can... So we can... Uh, Use my ultimate, and you notice, you know. Uh, let's see if I can. Get, I get several. As long as I have my, a lot of mana, got a good cooldown rate going on, I can um, get up to three of these dark spheres up at any given time. So that's great for being able to, you know, use your push. Oh yeah. Two, two of those spheres cool go out. Yeah, it, it, you know it. It, it, didn't all, it didn't come overnight. It definitely took a lot of testing to, to get right and feel right, but once, once we saw the kind of the final execution of it, we, the whole team was pretty jazzed. It's nice to see champions that actually kind of work outside the box and cause you to almost have to recode the game to make the champions work, and, and it's nice to see that kind of engineers are going into new champions. Thank you for that. Ha have you ever found that you've wanted to get something in the game, but the code just hasn't been available to you? I think. You know, it's not necessarily like the code that's hard. It's really just like, how do we make it feel good? How do we make it feel different? And that just comes with time and patience. There are some things on the technical side that has been challenging for us. That's more on the art side, some like type of animation things, um, uh, type of uh, kind of particle effects. But we're, we're constantly improving uh, our software to be able to do that. I mean, when we launched the Juani, we actually had um, re redone some tooling to the animation system to be able to have a mount look pretty decent and uh, decent, uh, look good, uh, pretty decent, I'm underselling ourselves. <laughs> we worked hard to make Sejuani look good. Um, so, so we, you know, if we have a champion that kind of would be better with some additional tech love, you know, we have a Kanta engineering team uh, that supports the champion team and they, and they add new features. There's definitely some new features added under the hood for Syndra to make, make all of her, um, make all of her uh, manipulation of the dark spheres work better. So we, we team up with engineering to really make that, to make that work. But in terms of just champion design, we've really been, um, since Ziggs, really pushing ourselves to um, make everything feel, feel really unique. And I think that's because, you know, we've gotten more experience over time. Uh, a lot of the champion designers have gotten more experience under the belt as well. So they're able to really use them. Um, you know, use their mastery of our systems and knowledge to really push the boundaries. And Morello has been uh, very good in really guiding the team and saying, hey, how can we make this feel different and give different options? And I've been very, very happy with the results uh, the team has been coming up there. Let me just show you one thing. Let's go down the Malhazar now, now that my ultimate is ready. I really wish I had my, my teleport cheat. All right, what's up, Malzar? I got my Q up. And you can see I focused all of the energy balls on him. And then I, I when, when I use that successfully, three extra spheres appear. So um, I'm able to, you know, do even more things. Wow. But uh, I was ill-prepared for Malzar with his Voidling, and I am going to die. But, uh, uh, there you go. You're playing against Mal's. Where's your sash? <laughs> Mal's bot too strong. Um, so in essence, that's Syndra. Um, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoy her when she comes out in the near future. So. They both look like really awesome champions, as not only mechanics-wise, but design-wise. The art looks very impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, so let's talk about other things. Yeah, with, with Dominion, I mean, we know that um, Riot have been keen to push the eSports front, very, very much so. But that mostly revolves around, you know, the three-lane kind of traditional Dota-style play. What are your thoughts on Dominion and the future of it after, after the launch? How, how, how successful do you feel it's been and, and such? I, I feel that there is a very dedicated player base to Dominion. A lot of people like Dominion. Uh, it's, it's a fun alternative to Summoner's Rift and Twisted Tree Line. And, and, and um, we still care about it greatly. And we actually have live design, um, you know, taking a look at you know, other ways just to make it feel better. We've had a couple updates to it in the past couple months, but uh, we definitely, it's, it's on our radar to always go, hey, how can we make anything better? You saw that with uh, our upgrade to Summer's Rift a few months ago. We noticed a lot of players um, play the game on, on not necessarily the same settings that uh, you or I may play the game on. Yeah. So we really wanted to make sure it looked good for players on, on all settings, and, and we did that at our spawns. We also look at ARAM recently in Proving Grounds. Um, we, we noticed our fans uh, playing that on their own in custom games, making their own styles, and we thought that was really neat and had what we call Riot Thunderdome, whereas we lock developers up for 40, about 48 hours and just go work whatever, work on whatever you want on League of Legends, make something cool. And a team got together and, and made our own version of ARAM using Grooving Grounds and really gave it the kind of support we needed and we polished it up and shipped it to life. So the, the point I'm trying to make is we take a look at everything and go, how can we make it better? How can we give our players things, something cool to look forward to and improve yeah, yeah. the experience all the time? So, yep. What are your thoughts on Poppy? as an AP anti-carry. I love Poppy! I love Poppy so much! Poppy doesn't get any love, man. No. Poppy gets no love. I looked at her patch notes, and I don't think she's had a change, a specific change, for over, over, a, over a year and a half or something. Secret weapon. A Poppy player can... A good Poppy player who just sets up the right timing can just dominate fools, man. I mean, she, she looks... People like are not intimidated because she's a yordle, in my opinion. You see this little little girl with the hammer? Oh, I'm not too scared. Jesus Christ. Man, when she pops her ultimate, it's like, oh my god, run run away, you know, walking death. Uh, I love Poppy. Especially with the DFG. Indeed, indeed. So, so what kind of champions have you been playing recently? What kind of roles and what kind of champions have kind of been so, your favorites? So I personally like to play tanks and supports. Um, I, just because, you know, in a lot of games I like, I like to play melee, so I love Leona. I love just kind of standing there and holding it down. I don't, I don't need to get all the kills, but having my friends get kills is fine with me. So, you know, I just love being a stun machine with her, and uh, actually she's, when, if you get her an ARAM, it's, <laughs> it's over, man. She is deadly at ARAM. Um, uh, love Leona. Uh, in terms of supports, love Lulu, love Janna. Lo I, I play a lot of Soraka. Um, uh, when I was playing mages, I, I like to play Ziggs. He's just so fun. He just he feels crazy, you know, and, and that's really neat. Um, you know, there's always gonna be love in my heart for Tristana. I, I love, you know, I leveled up in you know, beta with Tristana, and she's always gonna be uh, one of my favorites. But um, yeah, I think everyone's first skin is almost always the Facebook yep. Riot she's Tristana. So yeah, yeah. She, 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 She's a great entry point, and she's super, super strong. She can be played well, and that's the beauty of a lot of our champions, especially from the, you know, even the ones from Generation One, League of Legends. Like those champions don't get played all the time. Like it's singed, you know, singed, pick singed. Oh my God! So, uh, you know, that, that's just testament to like, you know, um, the versatility of all the champions that we have. Thanks a lot. So, um, anything else you'd like to tell us about where Riot's going with League of Legends? You know, we're going to continue to look at, you know, at what our, our players are talking about and, and listen and, and respond, you know, like, like I said, the polish up, the polishing of Summoner's Rift and, you know, things like ARAM are, are really exciting. Our players really appreciate it. So we definitely want to do more of that type of stuff over time. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're working on internally, which I think League of Legends fans have a lot to be excited about. Um, I think just in general, uh, the community is amazing. There's a lot of kind of uh, things being made, different sites that are kind of uh, providing some stuff that we're not doing and I think that's um, it's an opportunity for us to step up and, and deliver some, some cool things to the community so look out for that and uh, I can't say with any, you know, with any less enthusiasm that esports is amazing we all love watching uh, competitive play it's inspiring right it inspires makes me want to be a better player watching these awesome 
awesome um, athletes just kick ass. So I'm looking forward to this week's uh, EU Regionals here at Gamescom, and I'm super pumped for Season 3 because, you know, I can tune into League of Legends once a week and watch my favorite teams uh, go wild. So exciting times ahead. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks, guys.